Flint residents are speaking up tonight wanting answers about their water. The Democracy, De Democracy Defense League helped organize a meeting to get the community together to discuss solutions. NBC 25's Kyle Mitchell is live in the newsroom with an update on Flint's ongoing water issues. Kyle. City people at tonight's meeting want their voices to be heard. They're trying to mobilize and gather accurate information, not happy with what's coming out of their tap. All that we want is clean, healthy drinking water that we can also bathe in. A plea for water. It's not working. They need to stop this. They need to quit paying all this money out. The city maintains the water is safe and hired a consultant to provide recommendations. But some residents say that hasn't had an impact on what's coming out of the faucet every day. Right now, there is no confidence by the residents in with the safety of the water. So we need to go back to Detroit for now and figure out how to make the water more safe. If you look at some of the water that some people are, are pouring out of their taps and it's it, it makes sense. It doesn't look like it's supposed to. It doesn't smell like it's supposed to. Laura Sullivan is an engineering professor with Kettering University who's worked in other countries on clean water projects. She says she understands the concerns. The biggest one is that we went from lake water, which was pretty consistent, to river water, which seems to be changing a lot. Um, and because of that, it's difficult to monitor. And some residents say with the high price they're paying for water, there shouldn't be any questions about its safety. Everybody needs to get together in the city as a whole and collaborate on our own and get this issue solved. The Democracy Defense League is working to compile residents' concerns and recommendations. And if you're in need of bottled water, the Maid Institute will be giving out free cases starting at 11 a.m. Saturday at the Second Chance Baptist Church on West Monroe Street. Live in the newsroom, Kyle Mitchell, NBC 25 News City.